Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and you might recognize this quad. This is my Beast X RE200. This thing has been an absolute workhorse and just a, a true tank for me. But if you look at the parts on it, got Tornado T2, 2206, 2300 KV. Um, we got a F3 flight controller. We've got uh, just 20 amp BL Heli S ESCs. It's really become a little bit outdated and underpowered, especially compared to the things I've been flying today. So I was offered a few things to test out. So I thought, why not make an update video on this and revamp it and get it back in the air. So for the parts we have, we have the DYS Mars 2306 2400 KV motors, which as you can see right here. Got the DYS um, DL Heli 32, 32-bit 32 Aria 35 amp ESCs right there. And for the flight controller, we've got the X-Racer F4, which goes off the popular um, X-Racer flight controller line that they had. This one now has an F4 chip, obviously, as well as some other goodies on here. So let's just do a quick overview of these new parts, and then I'll get them installed into the Beast X, and we'll see how it flies. Okay, so first up, let's take a quick look at the motors. These are the DYS Mars, and these are the 2306-2400 KV editions. As you can see, they have a pretty interesting, nice-looking top. We've got, I believe, it's either steel or titanium. we got a hollow shaft there. And then on the bottom, we do still have a C-clip, which is kind of annoying. But it's not a huge deal, especially since it is um, below the base of the motor. It is um, under it. It's flush. That's nice. So you don't have to worry about it being too large for the hole in your arm. And you can see that it is a naked bottom design. Unfortunately, they still did go with the 16 by 19 um, motor bolt mounting. You see that looks quite a bit funny here. I wish everyone just switched to 16 by 16. If we take a look at the windings, see they are multi-strand. They're not very clean, but it shouldn't matter too much. And the magnets themselves are actually pretty thin, but they are arc magnets. But if you look at the air gap, Hopefully you can see the air gap is actually quite large compared to today's standards. And combined with the stator size and KV of this motor, I think this will actually be a decently efficient freestyle motor, which will be good for the application we're putting it in. And then real quick, we can get a weight on this guy. It does weigh 35 grams, so that is pretty heavy there. So I wish it was a little bit lighter, but again, for a freestyle motor, it's not as imperative to be extremely light. And it is really nice to see they included extremely long wires to make it easy to build with 4-in-1 ESCs and say something on a 6-inch quad. So for the ESCs here, we've got the DYS 32-bit Aria. You can see here, 35 amps. They are quite large and heavy compared to some other ESCs, but these should pretty much, I doubt you'll ever be breaking or burning one of these. And it looks like the tabs on the bottom here are nice and easy to solder to. And it is nice that these new 32-bit ESCs, they do have, hopefully, you can see this little thing that is a little current sensor, an individual one on the ESC, as well as that little white thing is an addressable RGB LED. So the 32-bit ESCs are promising some quite cool features. And on the other end, we have some 16-gauge power wires, as well as your standard signal wires. Um, unfortunately, one of the things, the downsides of having an ESC like this, separate large ESC, is it's going to weigh quite a bit. So this weighs 8.4 grams. However, without the wires, it weighs 6 grams. So that is going to add a bit of weight to your build. But once again, if you're looking at a freestyle build, it's not so imperative. And then lastly, we have the flight controller, which is the X-Racer F4. And now I've used the F3 version of the X-Racer for quite some time. You can see it's actually what I have here. And that's actually what's in the Beast X right now. So we're going to be swapping it out for its newer brother. But this one basically obviously just has the F4 processor, so it can run at faster speeds and more features. And then they also added a inbuilt OSD, a Betaflight OSD, which is quite nice, as well as a beefy regulator there. But other than that, everything looks generally the same, which is good because this was definitely a very popular board that I quite liked. It's just nice to have the new OSD and F4 chip. All right, so that was just a real quick overview on the parts that will be going into this. So let me swap them in, build it up, and then we'll take it out and see how it flies. All right, here we are for the quick line of sight test with the updated Beast X running the DYS Mars 2306, 2400 KV motors, the DYS Aria 32-bit ESCs, and we have the X-Racer F4 in there running 8K, 8K, 
Betaflight 3.2.1 and D Shot 1200 for the ESCs there. So a pretty new, up to date build. Let's see how it flies compared to the old setup. Very nice low idle. Alright, so this has rates that I'm not familiar to you on. I forgot to change them. So these are the stock uh, beta flight uh, rates. These are actually pretty decent rates though. Um, so if you are a beginner, I would actually recommend staying with the stock rates until you um, know more about what you're doing when you're changing them. Of course you can always fall back if you mess them up, so it's always good to experiment. Um, but right away flying this, I definitely noticed just how smooth it is. Those DYS motors, the air gap on them is pretty large, but that makes for some really smooth flying. And of course this is using the Gemfan uh, Flash uh, 5152 prop. Same ones I used before, trying to keep it the same. Um, but definitely very smooth. And the tune on Betaflight. 3.2 with a dynamic filter. I cannot get any prop wash, so definitely liking 3.2 so far. Definitely is quite heavy compared to um, some of my race quads. This is 360 grams dry on the scales, but uh, my race my race frames are about 270, depending on which one I'm using. So it's almost 100 grams heavier. Um, but the motors and the props are definitely pro um, providing decent power to it. It's just a little bit slow to get started. Let's try some top end with it. Pretty decent. This isn't that aerodynamic of a frame, um, but and it's low KV motors, but that's probably about 80, 80 miles an hour, I'd say. Definitely not bad. More than enough for a freestyle quad. But yeah, definitely very smooth. That's the biggest thing that I've been noticing so far. Obviously not crazy power. Um, I knew that before I uh, built this setup. With, especially with the weight. But very smooth. Very smooth. Let's bring it back in here. Alright, and now I'll strap the GoPro on and we'll do some FPV and see if the smoothness carries over, which I'm assuming it will. All right, here we have the Beast X loaded up with 1550 R-Line and the GoPro, so quite a bit more weight. So let's see how it handles it. This definitely can feel that it's heavy. Check out the prop wash. Yeah, just like in the line of sight, pretty much non-existent. Very nice. Very sort of mushy throttle that I'm, um, since I'm used to such high power racing rigs, but it still is pretty decent. Uh, respectable power um, and once again I'm not used to these rates especially FPV Here we are back with the Beast X just to finish up after that flight testing there. So if you couldn't tell, hopefully from the video, um, this guy just really is very smooth. Um, now with the F4 flight controller, I was able to run 8K, 8K. 
there and with the BL32 ESCs, obviously they run at faster rates. I was running D-Shot 1200 on them, I believe. And then we have the motors, which are 2306, which is a good size for a heavier freestyle quad with the little bit wider stator. It manages the lower RPMs better. Um, and the DYS Mars motors, they just have a pretty decently large air gap in, um, compared to other high-end motors. So that does make them um, really smooth and more efficient. And while it did fly really smooth overall, I just could not shake how heavy this guy is. Let me just um, weigh this real quick. I think it's something like 360 grams. Um, this does have the GoPro mount on it. So this is 377 grams dry here, which is very, very heavy. That's 100 grams heavier than my racing setups. So for me, that is really a huge downside. I had to use a lot more throttle than I was used to, and it just kind of felt sloppy in the air. But I know a lot of people actually do like that sort of feeling for freestyle. It kind of makes things smoother, and you're sort of able to throw the weight of the quad around a little bit more and use the, mo the momentum to your advantage. But for me, just really getting used to my racing quads that are 250, 280 grams dry, and then they have a higher KV motor with a little bit more power than these, it's just, it really was a big difference for me, and I was having to be on the throttle a lot more than used to. However, these Gemfan 5152s definitely did help um, to manage the weight. And it's really, this is really not a bad freestyle quad. It flies really well. The Beast X frame is pretty much indestructible. I've never broken anything on it except for a little canopy, which, if you can't tell, is now the injection molded version. Got a little crack up here from a crash, but other than that, very, very nice. The frame super robust. And I do like the electronics that I put on it here. Um, the ESCs, I'm not that sure of, just because of how big and large they are um, and how heavy they are. I think maybe a 4-in-1 ESC, a 30 amp, is more than enough and plenty good, and you're going to be saving some weight, as well as the motors. They're pretty heavy, but if you're looking at a freestyle quad, these might be a decent option, and they're not going to pull that many amps. But the flight controller is pretty much universal. You can switch that into whatever you want. And that performed just fine for me, so it is nice to see them continuing the X-Racer line and the F4. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little update of my Beast X. There will be links down below to the components used here. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.